What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on Drawing Duplication by Kasim Badwin. What is Drawing Duplication by Kasim? Well, this is basically a propless drawing duplication. Now, it's not entirely propless, it just means you don't need any special props. This can be done with all borrowed objects, it's completely impromptu. All your participant needs is a writing surface and a writing utensil. Now, I would recommend using a Sharpie, uh, but a pen can work as well. I would also recommend using a bigger sheet of paper. Uh, not necessary. It's not mandatory that you use a bigger sheet. This will work with business cards. You're just going to make it a lot easier on yourself if you have something a little larger. So if you haven't seen Kasim's post in a lot of the mentalism groups, go check that out. He does a live performance of this. And, you know, when I saw it, I thought there's no way. There has to be some kind of pre-show or or something that is shown either, or something that happens before the video starts or after the video ends. But that's not the case at all. From the beginning to the end, you see the entire process. There's nothing else. And this is about as pure as it gets, in my opinion. So what do you get? All you're going to get is a tutorial. And it's a download. You can pick that up from Kasim's website. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, but basically this is in a very, very quick tutorial. It's about five minutes long, and it'll get you going with everything that you need to know. Now, the method behind this, I can't go into really any detail. Uh, it's not a brand new method. It's a principle that's been around uh, probably as long as mentalism's been around. But uh, this is the first time that I've seen it to where I go, I'm going to use this, right? Uh, because it's it's so pure, it's so fair, and it's just so natural. It seems completely impossible. And when I watched the video, I honestly had no idea what was going on. So for those of you who purchase this, if you receive it and you go, well, this isn't anything new. I, I don't think that uh, it's always about new methods, but to me, Kasim's presentation and I guess for lack of a better term handling but the way that he demonstrates this and, and talks about it in the tutorial this for the first time was something where I go yeah this is perfect um, this is going to be my go-to peek over any wallet any impression pad or device uh, you know I I think that this is incredible now with that said uh, I may not use this if I'm doing a stage show um, where you know people have paid money to see me but I think for a casual performance or even in in a working paid environment where you're doing maybe table hopping or strolling or close-up I think that this is fine um, I just think for a bigger show for me I am probably going to use something else um, what I can say without giving away too much of the uh, of the method or details is that ideal situation is that your participant is sitting down i think that's going to give you the most accuracy but with that said this is also the clearest peak that i have ever seen um you know like sometimes with impressions the impression doesn't come out perfect uh, other times with a peak wallet or even certain billet peaks, the there's some kind of angle restrictions or um, it can be difficult to get your peak or maybe it's not a full peak. With this uh, crystal clear clarity, and you know, I, I tried this after I watched the tutorial thinking, I don't know about this. I, I tried it on myself and if you buy this you'll understand that you can do that and I was blown away by how perfect that this was um, since then I have used this a number of times at home for friends at work uh, and every time it has worked out perfectly so I think with this 
like I mentioned, it seems so fair and so pure. There's really no reason for your participant to want to hide anything, and there's nothing for you to do that's suspicious or no funny kind of restrictions on where they write or limitations. You can simply, if you're at a place like an office or something, grab a piece of paper, a pen, give it to them. You walk away and they do their drawing. You're able to reveal that however you want. In this, it's a drawing duplication. So the difficulty level, honestly, this couldn't be easier. Um, there's really nothing to it. Angles, there's no angle restrictions on your part in anything that you do, but you will want to position yourself in a certain place. Like That's all I can really say I, without giving anything away. But even with that, you're not really restricted. It's not like a limitation in my opinion. There is no setup or reset. There is no arts and crafts. Like I said, all you need... Well, okay. So all you need is this. And it doesn't have to be this. It can be a business card. It can be a sheet of paper. It can be a pen. I just think that this is going to give you better accuracy. There is one other thing. I can't say what it is. I can't say anything about it. But you will have it. That's all I'm going to say about it. You will have it. Pocket space. So carry a pen if you want or borrow one. Carry a memo pad. Maybe you don't want to carry something this big. You don't have to. Um, for me, I would probably carry not this exact, especially if I'm in a working situation, but I would probably carry something like this, you know, and this is a, a, an impression device, right? But I just mean something this size uh, and something that looks a little bit more professional than this. But, you know, and with that said, you can borrow that. This can be doesn't even have to be a piece of paper, right? This is perfect if you're uh, at a restaurant or, you know, somewhere where there's a napkin or any kind of paper or writing surface. It doesn't matter. Is this a worker and who would use this? So this is strictly mentalism, you know, uh, not to say that only the mentalist can use this because anybody can use this once you learn the secret. Uh, is it a worker? Like I had mentioned, that is the only kind of limitation for me and it's not that this can't be done in a working situation um, this would be something that I, I use uh, casual if I'm showing somebody something or just in kind of like a laid-back setting uh, I would also use this uh, table hopping um, strolling I would say probably not because like I said it's better if if they're seated uh, and you know if for me if you're doing a show and you can have somebody seated, then this will work perfectly. For me, I think just in terms of like a stage mentalism show, I'm probably just going to use like a clipboard or something if I'm doing a drawing duplication or some other form of a peak. But this can be done if, if you can arrange the setup, you know, and by setup, it's nothing to do with this. It's just you'll have to you'll have to see what I mean if you get this. I can't really say much on it. So what's the price and is it worth your money? I believe that this is 20 pounds. Is it worth your money? So, you know, I think that this is definitely worth the money. And reason being is because this can be done on the fly, off the cuff, impromptu, anytime. Uh, you don't need anything. And chances are, no matter where you go, there's going to be some form of paper or a napkin or something that they can write on and a writing utensil. So just to have that knowledge that where you can go out and you don't need any special props or even, you know, like I like billet peaks because it's very simple. You don't have to carry a lot. But with that, there is usually some kind of restriction where they can only write on one area of the paper or you have to take the card back and do something, maybe put it in the stack or whatever. And, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I use those a lot, but this will be what I use now in terms of you know my everyday kind of peak positives and negatives um you know uh, i guess that kind of ties in with is it worth your money um some people might buy this and you know it's a five minute tutorial and they might think really that's it because it's so simple but i think if you actually take the time to try this and to use it a few times you're going to feel so good about what you're doing and with that, even like what you're not doing that, uh, you know, I think this will become a lot of people's kind of go-to method with that. I don't know if there are really 
any restrictions such as lighting or anything like that. I have done this in a dim area. It wasn't too, too dark, but this is kind of one of those things where, you know, if you can see it, if, if it's light enough where you can see what's going on and what you're doing, which it has to be because they're not going to be able to see what they're drawing if it's not light enough. Um, but with that said, I think if it's light enough for them to see what they're drawing, you can see it too. So I don't know. I, I can't say too much on it. I guess that's the only, that's the only con that I have is that not con, but <laughs> that's the only negative that I have on this is I can't say too much about it without giving away the method. And I don't want to do that because for me, Kasim has taken a principle that, yeah, I've seen before, but he has presented it in a way that now that's all I want to use. So, you know, if this is something that piques your interest, if you saw the video and you thought this can't be real, it is. If you haven't seen the video, I recommend checking it out. What you see is what you get. That is true. He's not doing anything off camera with the participant it's the full thing from beginning to end so with that I think that's all that I can really say on this but honestly I would highly recommend it like I've said I am going to use this I have used it and you know this will be probably all I use in most situations so with that we'll see you at the next review